Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Let's Play Dothack GU Volume 2. In between episodes, I kind of edited my Crimson vs. deck a little bit. I got Triad for our general now. Triad has a lot of HP, um, pretty good AP, but to trade off, he doesn't really have a lot of charisma, which is what lets you um, equip cards. So I had to get some low cost cards going to help kind of like accommodate. So the first one, it deals a point of damage to every general at the beginning of each turn. I think that would help with the attack kind of thing. And then this one adds 2 HP to, for every junction card held by the enemy general, which can only help, it can never hurt. And then this last one here just adds one more AP to the general. So I was kind of like thinking just take advantages of his strengths rather than trying to make up for the fact that he has low charisma. So I just basically tried to do anything more to like help with his HP and attack power. Um, yeah, I know I haven't really talked too much about Crimson Versus through this volume, but it, at the time it was something I wanted to at least, like, fool around with a little bit. Um, this is the last deck that I kind of create. I don't make it all the way to fighting Gaspard, but, you know, it's just, it's still just, like, you know, a side thing to do. But I just figured I'd show it off anyway. But last time, we, uh, we got our ultimate scythe weapon from the Lost Ground that, uh, Fila told us about a few episodes ago. And now it's time to go and do our crowning ceremony at the party. But uh, what do we have Is here the first? In a place like this in Moon Tree's headquarters? It's Adelie and Sakaki. What are they doing? This is that job Sakaki. she mentioned. What did you mean by a job? Adelie, it's a very important job. It is a task necessary to realizing the ideals of Moon Tree. <laughs> Can I depend on you, Adelie? Yes, of course. I'd do anything for you. Good girl. Ew. Listen well, Adelie. You must atone for your sin. What sin? <gasps> the hell are you talking about? Why does everyone keep throwing things like sins around? Have committed. What the hell are you talking about? Sakaki? That sound... I can hear it. That sound is... Sakaki, we have to leave here! It's too dangerous! Open your ears. Listen well, Adelie. That sound is ringing for you. The sound of cleansing. Um. And this is the room of penitence. This game is rated T for teen, right? Now, you're going to confess everything. The arrogance, ostentation, and fear that lies beneath your mask. Confess it all. Show me the small, diminutive self that hides under your pretty little character. Sakaki? Sakaki, this is kind of not good guy material. <laughs> All right, that's that's Ida. Sakaki, I I'm really starting to think you're not such a good guy. <laughs> for all your sins. <laughs> Surely by now you must know. How many victims were born from your regrettable mistake? What are you talking about? <sighs> Whose fault was it that the Ida server was created? That was a terrible incident. Hardly say it was Adelie's. Virtuous players unable to fight back, sent to the darkness of a coma after being PK'd one by one. It's all well and good that Haseo and the others were able to bring them back safely. But if they had failed, things would have gotten much worse. But that... that was... Whose fault was it that Bordeaux drowned in power? Uh, yours? My... no! Is that so? If she hadn't been infected while in the Ida server, she wouldn't have ended up that way. That's right. It's not just Bordeaux, is it? What about Alcade? I... I didn't... 
Yeah, Adelie had nothing to do with Alcade. That's true. Bordeaux was the one who piqued her, not you. You're not to blame. <laughs> well, gee, thanks. But think about it. What if Bordeaux had not been infected by Ida? Wouldn't Alcade have been spared from her coma? And if that had been the case, Haseo would never have grieved. But Haseo did grieve, didn't he? Whose fault was it? Can you tell me the answer, Adelie? <laughs> What's that? I can't seem to hear you. Please, allow me to remember in your stead. Hmm. Now, whose fault was it? I remember now. It was you. It was all your fault, Adelie. Yeah! Deny it or not, the answer is the same. But you already know that, don't you? Just who is to blame? That's right. It was always you. B because because of me. Yes. Everyone suffered because of you. But I I tried so hard. And yet, it always backfired. I S Sakaki There you go again, always seeking my aid and comfort. Man, the way this guy is, like, talking is just so, like, demeaning. I've only got you, Sakaki. That's not true. What about Haseo and everyone else? Very well, Adeline. As you wish. I shall pardon you completely. No matter how much the world may hate you and loathe you, I will always be the only one to need you. Pay attention, ladies and gentlemen. This is what an abusive relationship looks like. Textbook example. Therefore, <laughs> you must obey me and my wishes. And if you ever leave me, you will be plunged into the darkness of eternal solitude. Jeez Louise. You don't want to be alone, do you? People will always seek out the warmth of others. There is no one who can truly survive entirely on their own. Close your eyes, Adelie, and relax. Well, that was really fucked up. Uh, let's go to the party, everybody. I'll need to talk to the event NPC. Over yeah, it's so weird. We're going to Sayo's stupid fucking crowning ceremony, like, following the scene after that. Oh, yeah, and I forgot to equip my scythe when I got it, too. So, um... Every every lost uh, weapon has a unique effect on it. Haseo's is like immediately one of the most useful, obviously, because you know Haseo, God's gift to man. But uh, also because you play as him. And anyway, so his his weapon will has like a certain percentage of a chance to absorb a percentage of the damage you dish out back to you as SP, or I mean as HP. And SP, actually. I think it's HP and SP. I wish I remembered what the uh, exact chances are right now. Because um, I don't think he takes back, like, all of the damage you give him back. I think it's just, like, a part of it, but I could be wrong. But anyway, um, you know, needless to say, as many times as you do attack, you are kind of refilling your health and SP um, if you're using the scythe. So I, I automatically think that's, like, great to start with. That's probably better than 
anything else you could, uh, you could do. And not to spoil things further, but in Volume 3 you can upgrade all of these lost weapons too. And then they'll have an even better, like, upgraded effect. Like, I think for Haseo, it, it's like a 75% chance uh, that when you attack, you absorb back HP and SP. But, uh, here we are again. Feels just like yesterday that Pyrrhus III made out with us. And crumbles. The warriors celebrated here today have defeated the very stars to stand at the top. Now let us praise them. Praise their bravery for once again choosing the difficult path. You think this guy is like a CC Corp employee that, now climb, you know, officially does this? Or you think he's just like heights, a fan that just started commentating and he's like an unofficial part of this? Allow me to introduce the new Emperor, Team Haseo! You know, they really should say Emperors because like... If they're just gonna say Team Haseo, they may as well, like, acknowledge every member, you know? And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to present the awards! <laughs> this fucking Sonic 06 police officer. <laughs> Congrats. Can you guess which one of us is the real captain? <laughs> this concludes the crowning ceremony. Please relax and enjoy yourselves. So, once again, we get a, uh, a powerful weapon that we can't use yet because it's at a higher level and... I don't know. I, I guess lowering it to your level would be, like, anticlimactic, but at the same time, it's like, I can't use this, and by the time I can, I'm gonna forget I even have it. But, um, what was it anyway? Level 91. Still got a ways to go. Mmm, that slowdown! It's so good. Say, are you gonna take aim at the Sage Palace Emperor's throne next? Well... There are three games. Haseo! Congratulations on your victory! I'm so happy, I feel like I won it myself! Well, you didn't, Gaspard. I, it. I won the it. Beautiful sparkle of the stars that surround you. Always adding something to the table, aren't you, Entrance? Endurance, you're a star too. And so is Kuhn. Like, this is like, I, I hate that, like, it's just the Haseo show the entire time. I'm afraid I made a fool of myself in the arena. I'm here, fully aware of my shame. What happened to Elkade is my fault. There's nothing I can say that will help. It would help if you joined our party. Join our party, damn it! Yeah, and I, I don't know why, like, some NPCs are here. Like, I guess it would be weird if it was just, like, all the story characters. But, like... Uh, I don't know. This guy here, this guy has, like, the same model as one of the other characters in Dot Hack Roots that's part of the Twilight Brigade. Saki Saka is his name. I'll, we'll talk about more of him, but I, I, I'm happy I could show off the model now. Because that's kind of, like, the only thing I remember about Saki Saka. <laughs> I tried to catch Gobby just shoving his face. Long time no see. Yeah. Didn't know you were here. Long time no see. Yep, I sure am. Ida's observation room. What do I have to do with the plot? <laughs> it's still... It's so weird he says that. It makes it seem like he's, like, a bigger part of the story. But he's, like, not at all. Come on, stand tall. After all. You're the one who cured Adelie, aren't you? Um, Adelie cured herself by playing Look, video games? We just keep on fighting like this wherever we can. Everyone's sure to wake up. If we just keep playing video games, everyone's problems will be solved. Special summon will also be fine, right? <laughs> Come on, sweetheart, hurry up with the booze! You drinking in real life again, old man? Are you drinking again, legal adult? <sighs> You just... I, I am this pure Japanese teenager that has never touched a drop of alcohol in his life. 
and you, you were just this legal age adult drinking like some kind of hideous monster. <laughs> I, I don't get it. I, I don't get why certain tropes of characters just like I don't know. It's 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 so weird like how they keep bringing that up over and over in like situations that don't call for it. You've defeated Sirius. We've now seen the difference in power between one who is trapped by desire and one who is supported by faith. Thanks, Tai Haku. We all remember who that is, right? And a true game junkie who plays over 200 games a year. I have to congratulate you. Where do you get advanced elite skills even I haven't learned yet? The one where you flash everybody. Well, I suppose it only looks that way because my hot pockets and mountain do. I don't know. I don't fucking know. Why would he say as someone that plays over 200 games a year, why would you brag about that, man? <laughs> Why forget brag about it? Why would you do that? Although you don't look too happy. I'm Haseo, I never look happy. She still hasn't recovered. Her circumstances are different from the young ladies. So, what do you think that we could do to bring back all the lost ones? Keep playing video games. Is to not ever run away. Oh, my man, my man, just staring off at the sunset over here. Uh, what's up, Heroes the Third? <laughs> Ooh, you with the good eyes. It looks like you really liked that little kiss last time, didn't you? Mm-hmm. Like hell I did. Oh, I loved it. Oh, in that case, let me give you present number two. This time, I've come to give you... Uh, um, a great big hug! Wait a second. Oh my god, down. what's he doing with his hands? <laughs> hey, stop that! Well, you don't have to be so awfully embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs> the best part is when it comes back, he's not even, like, looking at his sayo. It's like, I'm done with you. Oh, God. That, that's dark. That's not funny. <laughs> Olvan never made it to the party today. Neither did Adelie. Well, Adelie said she wasn't coming, so I I'm still don't really realize why you I didn't see don't understand this. Haseo? Adelie. You're here. Is the Moon Tree job... Like, I don't understand what this is right here. Like, I don't know if, Hase if Adelie's, like, trying to talk to Haseo from beyond, or that was just, like, Haseo imagining she was there. I don't know. It was weird. What's Kaede. What's with all the pale faces? Why are you here, Kaede? Something bad has apparently happened at Moon Tree. I don't know. Something bad? Not relating to Sakaki, I bet. <laughs> Please allow me to explain. Sakaki has betrayed Lord Zelkova. Dun, dun, dun! The Moon Tree's headquarters have been overtaken by Sakaki's followers. Zelkova was PK'd. And is lost. Zelkova's a lost one? Sakaki betrayed us? I like how Kaseya doesn't even, like, bat an eye to the fact that Zelkova's a lost one. might be right. We just got a call from Master Yada. A strong Ida signal was confirmed coming from inside Moon Tree's headquarters area. Ida. Zokova was PK'd in an area with an Ida signal, and his whereabouts are unknown. Which means that. Yes, there's a possibility he'll become a lost one. Master Haseo, may we request your assistance, please? Why are you asking me? Lord Zalkova always said, if anything ever happens to me, call on Haseo. Yeah, because they were so close. Me? <laughs> <sighs> Please. 
Please, Master Haseo. I beg you. Why are you even the thinking about the situation it? Is at Moon Tree headquarters. The inside. It's like a nightmare. Adelie. No. It may not even have been her. She attacked Lord Zelkova like she'd been hollowed out. Or controlled. Adelie attacked Zelkova? And PK'd him? Black orbs came and attacked all of us. The Harvest Cleric PK'd someone? The orbs began attacking each other. Ida's effect on emotions. Kaede, did you notice anything else about Adelie that you can tell us? Notice anything? Wait. Come to think of it, I think I saw those black orbs around Adelie's body, too. Oh, no. Looking at the situation, it seems most likely that she has also been infected by Ida. Let's go. We can't afford to lose an Epitaph user candidate. And, you know, a human being. No. A sale? It's not just Adelie. I refuse to let anyone else become comatose. I won't let it happen. I won't lose anyone ever again. Right. A sale. Let's go back to town. All right, then. We'll all make preparations and meet at the Chaos Gate. Right. Let's hurry. So after all that work, trying to prevent Adelie from becoming infected by Ida, she's become infected by Ida. Even after getting her epitaph back. <sighs> okay. Next time. Um. What is next time? We're supposed to go to Moon Tree, but then something stupid happens. Yeah. Yeah, we need to do some padding before we go to Moon Tree. So, I'll see you guys next time for some, uh... Well, I guess our first time having Antares in our party. So, see you then. Bye.